Hi, I'm Tammy Silvers of Tamarini's and thanks so much for joining me today. So what I'm going to show you today is a tutorial on a partial seam. Now partial seam sounds kind of scary and sometimes blocks are um, a little bit more advanced and they're going to call for a partial seam. But a partial seam simply means that you're doing just that. You're sewing part of a seam and then you're going to construct the block or Maybe you're putting a quilt together and you're going to sew part of the seam and you're going to put some more pieces together and then you're going to finish the seam. So what I'm going to use to show you how to use a partial seam, how to work with a partial seam, is we're going to make a bright hopes block. So I want you to focus now on my cutting table and I've got the steps already laid out for you. Alright, so to make our bright hopes block, we are going to start with a square. Now for today's purpose we are using a three inch center square and then I'm going to be adding to my three inch square four different one and three quarter by four and a quarter strips. Okay, sounds simple enough and you may be looking at that thinking well how the heck is all of this going to go together? Well it's really simple. What we're going to do is we're going to place the one and three quarter by four and a quarter inch strip on top of our three inch square. Now these are batiks, so, but trust me when I say these are right sides together. Now you're going to notice that my raw edges are lining up. Okay, so that's great. What's my next step? Well, your next step is to sew a partial seam. So you may not be able to see it because I did sew with gray thread, but I started my seam right up here and I want to show you that it's a partial seam. I did not sew all the way to the edge of my strip or all the way to the edge of my three inch square. I, should, I sewed a partial seam. So I started here about uh, thumbs width away from the edge of my three inch square and I actually did a stay stitch. Now a stay stitch is just a teeny teeny tiny back stitch but it's going to hold that stitching in place so I stitched from here part way down all the way down to the edge of my three inch square and my strip all right so what's my next step well my next step is I'm going to press that first strip that I sewed and you can see I still have that that partial seam and then I'm going to take my next one and a quarter, one and three quarters by four and a quarter inch strip. And again, I'm lining it up along the raw edge of my blue square. So you can see this is what it looks like from the back. I've pressed away from my center. There's my partial seam that I showed you in step one. Here's my second seam. All right, so what's my next step? Again, I'm going to press away from the center. And when I press away from the center, then I'm going to be able to add my next one and three quarter by four and a quarter inch strip on the, on the next side of my three inch square. And I'm going to flip it over so you can see the back. So again, here's where I started with my partial seam. Then I added my next strip and I pressed away from the center. And now I've added my next green strip. You can see that here. All right. So we're building around. And what am I going to do next? Well, you guessed it. I'm going to press away from that center square. And you can see we just have one strip to add up here at the top. So again, here is my partial seam where I started. There was my second strip. There's my third strip. And now I've, I've added that fourth strip right here. And again, I've pressed away from my center. So what does this leave me? This leaves me with an unfinished seam, a partial seam. And we're going to finish that. So how are we going to do that? Well, you may notice that I have a little crease here, and that happened when I pressed this block out. So what I like to do when I'm finishing up a partial seam is I like to press that seam out. I like to press it flat. And that's going to make it a lot easier for me to work with because my last step is to simply sew from either the top edge of the block down into my partial seam or depending upon your orientation you could flip it over this way and I could sew from behind where I stopped where I started my partial seam all the way to the end. 
Either way, that's all a partial seam is. We started with part of a seam and then to finish it up, we're gonna come back and finish the seam. And what does this look like? Well, there's your Bright Hopes block. So you can see it has kind of an infinity look. No beginning and no end. Where did we start? Well, we started right here. This is where my partial seam was. This was strip one, strip two, strip three, strip four. That same concept is what carries through anytime you're using a partial seam. Again, you're sewing part of a seam and you're gonna complete it and you'll add your other pieces as needed. And then to finish out that partial seam, you just come back and stitch it across. Easy peasy. So I hope this has helped you understand a partial seam. And until next time, happy stitching. Bye.